all right guys uh, welcome to another tutorial uh, in this video i want to show you how you can quickly and easily retopologize your character or your mesh yeah so uh, there are two different methods i'll be showing you one is the blender quad flow remesh and the second method is the exocyte quad remesher yeah so um before i start i want to duplicate this my character mesh and move it to a completely different collection so yeah as you can see here uh, my the character is not really dense at all and it's kind of well too way too complex for uv unwrapping or texture so uh to get started let's start with the blender code flow remesh so to do that you select your character and you go to the object data property which is right here then all you need to do is to click on this quad flow remesh and because my mesh is symmetrical i would use this uh, mesh symmetry i would also preserve sharp and mesh boundary and after that i'll just click ok and that's all for the quad remesh so i would wait while it uh, process that and it should just take a few seconds i believe yeah and now we are done so yeah so it's uh, fixed let me add this and yes so um, you can see the code flow remesh actually did well not really that nice but yeah it's workable so let's uh, turn this off so if you right click and shade smooth yeah it kind of kept most of the detail so one thing you can also do to uh, optimize to get more detail from your irs uh, model you can just add a subdivision surface modifier and add a shrink wrap modifier afterward for this shrink wrap modifier you select the original the original sculpts as your select the original sculpts as your target and yeah that's all and you can see we still have the topology and more so, so the higher the value of this uh, subdivision surface the more details you can actually get in your remeshed your remeshed uh, character yeah and uh, for the second option the quad remesher the exercise quad remesher it's actually a paid add-on that you can get from the exercise website i would add the link to the description and yeah to do that let's let me add and disable this and this and bring back the original scopes yeah with the irs let me duplicate this and move it to the new okay let me move it to the same collection yeah let's use this check this so now to use the quality flow remesh option what you need to what you need to do you need to first install it that is to get and the other one install it uh, yeah the normal process of installing iron edits because your preferences and then you install search for wherever you download the add-on and then install the add-on file after installing all you need to search for all you need to do is search for the remesh that is the code remesh this would uh, this me so once you've activated this the remesh option once you bring out your side panel by pressing the n key on your keyboard you should bring out the remesh option i believe that is wow. so i have quite a lot of other Oh my bad, I think I actually turned off the yeah, I actually turned off the the uh, modifier uh, sorry the add-on rather. So uh I'll make sure this is turned on and save preferences. So once I come to my side panel I should see the quad remesh option here. So all I need to do is with my mesh selected and I would set the amount of fully counts I need for this particular mesh and all I need to do is click on the mesh. And it will also take a while to process. Yeah, and it's done. So as you can see, this actually did a way more better job than the blender than the blender remesh uh, option. So uh, now let's just right click shade smooth add a subdivision modifier add a shrink wrap 
frame trap modifier and for the target object that should be our eye school sphere sorry i tried to focus to rename my to rename my to rename my base mesh so yeah here we go it's actually it's actually nice yeah so this is a side by side comparison of the both of them yeah and um, personally i think the exercise code mesh did a better job 